Hello, this is West Virginia Tim. I'm at BGG Watch Your Head. I'm going to show you how to find it, and then I'm going to, more importantly, I'm going to show you how to build it, because that's what my channel's all about. And I've got to pause and say thanks, because my channel just last month hit 1.5 million views. So the channel really, its purpose is to try to teach uh, people interested in building creative caches. It gives them hints and ideas. You are always welcome to take my idea or the concept and make it your own. You can build one exactly like this, or you can just take this concept and run with it. So thanks for watching. Okay, this cache, you can tell, it's mounted a little differently than most of my other caches. It's got a little bit of looseness. Um, uh, this, is, uh, this cache has been out for one year, so over a year. So this is what my caches look like after one year. Reason why this cache looks so good, it's painted well, but it's got a coat of fiberglass up on the top, and here's where most of it gets the weather. And I have other, geo uh, other videos that tell you how to protect your caches. It tells you at this cache to bring two batteries and you'll see the light. Now it doesn't say you need two batteries to solve it. it, says bring two batteries and you'll see the light. So let's put these batteries in this battery holder and then I'll give you a little close up view of this cache and we'll try to figure out how to get in it. And then I'm not gonna take you back to my shop, but I'm just gonna tell you how to build this one right here on this video. Just like finding any gadget cache, you walk up to it and you're trying to figure out, okay, where's the log and what I've got to do. Um, well, first I see all kinds of little things here, but more importantly, I see what appears to be a door. Uh, and I bet you the, the it, it appears that the log's in here. But over here on this side, there's a button. Here's a switch. Uh, now on the front, it does have batteries, but there's a button here. There's a button here. And on this side, there's a button here. There's six buttons here. So there's all these different types of buttons at the top. Uh, that's unusual. Uh, that looks like a door stopper. And if we look under the cache to see if there's a, um, a lock, which is typical for my caches, there's no lock, but there's another, another door stopper. So logically what I'm wanting the cacher to think is that the, the logs right here. So if I'm thinking like a cacher that walks up here, I'm thinking after I put my batteries in, one of these buttons or a combination of these buttons is going to open the log. So I'm just gonna to cut to the chase and I'm just gonna tell you, you can probably spend and cachers do spend 15 minutes half hour hour they hold one button push another one they try all different combinations now you probably won't be able to see this it does say they'll be able to see the light so i never like to tell a falsehood but if you push this button there are lights there's a light on right in there and it's really hard for you to see it but by pushing this button right here the lights come on so now do you have to have the lights on and then solve for all this the answer to that is no. There's another trick to this gadget cache. So what is it? There is only one thing that gives this away. Um, if you look very, very closely right here, here you can't hardly see it. But there actually is a crack right here. Now up here at the top, it's, it's uh, much different and you can see this crack. So the only hint that you have here is that there is a crack running down through here. So that's going to want to make you uh, examine the post very carefully because is there something on the post that would help you find this cache? Okay, this cache is called Watch Your Head. So I'm thinking maybe something down here. So I look around the front, I look around the back, I see nothing. Uh, there's nothing down here at the bottom. I had another cache called rings and there was a ring on the back. I don't see a ring. Only thing I do see is a little rock here. If I grab this rock and I pull it out, oh my gosh, no wonder they call this one, watch your head. 
Okay, I can't take you into the shop and show you how to build this one because honestly, when I built it, I was thinking, I don't want to uh, show anybody how to build this because I didn't want anybody to get hurt. Uh, but this is, in the last year, this is an extremely favorited cache. People love it. Uh, I get great logs. I say, boy, that was a close call. I might have knocked a couple people in the head. Uh, but uh, I'm thinking now, I wish I'd have filmed it in the shop. The best way to see how to build this one, it's the same concept that the video I have uh, before this one is called Rings. Go to Rings and you'll see how to build it. Now I do have a couple excerpts I'll show you here uh, that of where I was in my shop and I'll show you some close-ups of the inside. All this stuff here on the outside, of course, is all red herrings. Every one of my caches have a red herring. Whatever seems to be the most logical way to solve it is never the correct way. So I've got a couple shots. I'll take you inside now and I'll show you a few shots that I have of the inside uh, when I had it in for maintenance once. This is the inside of the cache. You'll see all the um, red herrings um, just attached everywhere. Here's the most important part of the whole cache. Uh, this is the other half of the gate latch. And you'll see I had to put a board because I had to prop it to figure out exactly how to attach it so it would hook. Here's the drawer, and you can see the drawer moves to give it the illusion that there's really a drawer there, but there's a stop that won't allow it to open. The bottom part of this cache, uh, you can see the boards, and that's really the location you'll see a little bit later uh, where the geocache container is hidden. I have the lights under this, um, under this black tape here. Here's the uh, red and the black coming from the battery. Of course, the red is going over to the only switch on the whole thing that works is this one. So we have red coming in, and then red going out to the lights. And of course, uh, the black uh, just goes right straight from uh, the battery holder uh, to the black of the lights. Here's a picture of the post uh, without the geocache. Um, it's a typical gate latch. I love these things. Uh, there's a plumbing pipe and notice that I use a, uh, a wire here, a braided wire that I bought at my local hardware store uh, so that it will uh, resist wear and tear. Good gadget caches have to be easily reset. So I tell the cacher and also have instructions right here to close the cache, pull the latch with the wire down. And so all I do is firmly pull this down, knowing that it's going to hook here in the cache, and I close it, and the cache is reset. Now I promise to show you the rock. If you look here at the bottom, there's the rock right there that you pull out. By grabbing this rock and pulling this out, then it pulls the wire up through the cache, and the cache drops down. Now, when it opens, you finally see where the log is. Uh, the log is actually right here. There's a small hole right here, and I have the log right there. Hey, thanks for watching. Take the concepts of this video and the ideas I've given you and make it your own. You're welcome to cop copy this cache. But <clears throat> together, let's keep raising the geocaching bar one geocache at a time. Hey, thanks for watching.